tell me a little bit about this farm and how this farm is kind of um, um, a recycling in itself. So it's an ecosystem where um, there's a balance between the number of animals eating from the land base and then amount of animals then recontributing to the fertilizing of their food source. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I would say, uh, the goal is ultimately that the, the farm is in a balance nutritionally, that the cows are eating, that the, the land is producing enough food for the cows to eat and the cows are producing enough manure for the land to produce enough to food really for nourish. them. Yeah for instance, but there's also the balance of having the pigs and the chickens and all the different animals, the horses, to contribute to the nutrient cycle of all, because each animal has a different uh, co composition yeah. in their manure, and so yeah. a mix of all of them is best. Yeah, yeah. Now the cow is a very important part of that. Yeah, so yeah. The, and the cow is able to create soil fertility. Yeah. And soil fertility in this kind of farming actually is one of the biggest um, solutions to climate change. Yeah. Because, you know, it seems kind of, I you know, they always say, oh, the cars, it's the cars, it's the cars, it's the pollution, that's the climate change. Like, no, our, our the Earth's ability to deal with it is being compromised as well. So it's, it is soil fertility. It's, it's the ability for the land to to sustain itself properly. Exactly. And you have all this commercial agriculture is the worst thing for yeah. climate change. Well, they found that out in India with the Vandana Shiva. I'm pretty sure people have heard about Vandana. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's all about uh, the fertility of the soil. I mean, I, I drove past a couple of fields uh, on the way here and they were, you can see, they're totally dead. In other words, they're full of glyphosate and all these different things. Well, you kill everything so, and then, yeah. you, then you plant it and then you give a narrow uh, nutrition to sustain the plant in order to produce a crop. And then you take this sort of nutrient-deprived food source and you yeah. make it into food that humans are eating or yeah. animals are eating yeah. that, that make food for humans. So yeah. it's a long chain of unhealth yeah and then the solution to the problems that arise out of the unhealth is more antibiotics and medicated this and yeah. more chemicals here and it's all coming yeah. out of pharmaceuticals yeah and this is where the money is like yeah. don't kid yourself i know it's not just the food it's all the I know. inputs i know and if you you know we don't take a vet or we don't take a antibiotics or we're not taking these pharmaceuticals and utilizing them on our farm you don't need them well we don't need them but for them it's like they need us actually yes and so this is a threat yeah. if you can do this without us the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. industry then that's not profitable mm -hmm. how are we going to profit off the people who that's are able right. to take care of their own that's right so there's there's a whole bunch of stuff and it's lots of layers and lots of mm -hmm. you know intertwined and um I think it's going to be really important to be able to articulate that in a way because there is a moral responsibility yeah. here that this is just, it's what they're wrong. It's wrong. It's not morally right yeah. what's happening. And yeah. I think we need to take that on. That needs to be expressed. That needs yeah. to be held very, um, very tightly and in, in making it a significant contribution to the whole argument. This is a morally unjust. So, so we can sort of summarize the whole thing in saying um, we have to, the 99% who are mostly moral, you know, yeah. have to really, it's like an abusive relationship. Uh, you know, the 99% really have to stop the 1% doing from what they're doing because if you allow the abuse, you're just as guilty as the one who's being abusing you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you so... Need to take a side. That's right. And on that note, um, people have uh, the opportunity to come to the court and show their support um, uh, as a 99% when we have the hearings for the injunction on um, May 29th. May 29th and May 30th in Newmarket. There you go. 
There's Monday and Tuesday. There's the mm -hmm. injunction hearing. So good. Ninety percent of the population would be there. Yeah, we? that would be nice, wouldn't it? Amazing. <laughs> exactly, and that's what we're going to look forward to. On a moral to. basis, this yeah. is wrong. Exactly. You know, you don't even have to want raw milk. Yeah. Just yeah. Just this yeah. This is actually wrong. <laughs> so thank you, Elisa. Thank you.